So there I was. What's up, YouTube? So there I was, browsing swords on Amazon. And I saw one, and I said, I know that sword. I have that sword. It was this. The handmade sword, Samurai Wakazashi. I bought this 10 years ago. I saw it. They still sell it. They still sell it on there. I thought, well, if they're still selling it, First of all, it's good they've been in business at least 10 years. Are uh, they still selling it? So I decided to give you guys a little update since a lot of people weren't around, at least watching me 10 years ago. So yeah, this sword, this is a Saya. 1080 high carbon steel. So it does have a handle that allows for two hands and you see the type of guard that it has there. It's definitely a narrow and thick sword. It's a bit heavier than you would think if you were just looking at the picture. Just so you know, it's a bit heavier. It's a very sturdy sword. Not the best for bottle slicing because, like I said, it's thick and heavy. Alright, this is just the warm-up. We're going to do bottles. Those are a lot harder. Bottle time. Another day, another dollar on YouTube. There you go. Now I should mention, I sharpened this sword. I sharpened it. It wasn't bottle slicing sharp when I got it. That was low. See that? I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> now this particular sword is 1080 high carbon steel. 1080. All right. Bend your knees, man. That's right. Forehand. No more bullshit, no more games, no more playing around. Alright. Forehand is a lot harder for me. Did I do it? I'm not gonna look. Did I do it? Oh, I did it. It's peace that kills the warrior. Just remember that. Adios. There we go. Okay, just one more. Last bottle. I've owned this sword for 10 years. Whirlwind attack. Ah. Double on that one. Okay, so long story short, I definitely had to sharpen this sword. It was not really sharp enough to cut bottles before that. It's a pretty cool sword, definitely. I just wouldn't recommend buying it if you don't have some sort of sharpening system and the enjoyment or at least capability to sharpen it yourself. Now because I got this 10 years ago, for all I know, maybe they do sharpen the current ones. I, I don't know. All I know is the one I got 10 years ago, it definitely required sharpening. 
I also have another sword by this same brand called their Plum Blossom Wakazashi. Maybe I'll dust that off next. But if it interests you, I'll include links below to the listing and uh, to the store that sells it because they sell a lot of a lot of different sorts. Zombies and water bottles alike would tremble at the kiss from this sword. <laughs>